there isn't anything like a majority in Parliament for um, uh, uh, sitting pretty while no deal gets closer and closer. But there could be a majority for those um, other versions of Brexit that you find so distasteful. If they were to triumph, what would your move, the ERG's move, be? What would your re response to that be? So... The issue with those other ones is that, so for example, the Norway style deal or a customs union, none of those are things that the EU would agree without the context of a withdrawal agreement anyway. So I, I think it's, to be honest, pretty otiose. We've, we've, well, we don't, uh, to, to, be, the, to be fair, to be fair, if I may, we, we don't know that for certain. Remember, we don't know that for certain, do we? Because the, 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 the last time there was talk of the withdrawal bill, um, the withdrawal deal being reopened, uh, it was for a difficult change relating to the backstop. If we, we don't know, you don't know, I don't know, if we go to the EU and say, actually, what we need to uh, shoehorn in here is a softening of Brexit, that, that's a different matter from the EU perspective, isn't it? Well, we have negotiated for a long time over this one, I don't think very well at all. Um, and what they've come up with is actually a form of customs union, which, which leads inevitably towards an incredibly, um, well, it, it leads really to a quasi-Remain uh, type deal anyway, which is why it is so unacceptable. Well, you're describing you again to me what you don't like yourself. about it, and I, I'm clear on what you mm. don't like about both the softer Brexit versions and the existing uh, withdrawal deal. But, but what would you do if they triumphed? Well, I think it would be, as I say, a democratic disaster. But what would because, you do if they triumphed? If, well, if you're in the EEA, then you've got freedom of movement. You've got rule taking. So industries like our city of London would be decimated. But you're telling me, you're telling me rules. things. The customs union, <laughs> we would have to take rules from the EU. Yeah, I know. But what would you do? What would you do? What would you do? Policy. What would you do? Well, it would be impossible for the government to carry on in this. That, what would that you do? Possible. What would you do? Well, I, I would want to side with the people who have put their trust in us. What would that look like get, you doing in Parliament? Right deal. What would that well, look like you doing in Parliament? We, we need to take each each day as it comes and each step as it comes. You're one of those I people without a plan, down. aren't you? I will vote. No, we we have a very well thought through plan, and we are very happy. Tell to me about it. it. Tell me about it. What we does your plan say about the eventuality of softer Brexit prevailing in Parliament next week? What does the ERG do then? What does your plan say about that eventuality? The law is that we leave at the end of next week, and the whole we of Parliament is that. attempting to avoid that eventuality and they come up with an alternative that the EU will accept what do you do about that it isn't able it won't be able to change the law in the next week it's not a week now it's three weeks or more well I disagree with that the mm -hmm. law is that we leave at the end of this week and that that is what we are working to we have a perfectly good plan that is the plan that the government should have adopted a long time ago i know but but, but marcus fish i understand your position country. i just I'm, I'm trying to ask you what you would do in other eventualities and make no mistake parliament is working hard for other eventualities you know that i know that everyone in parliament knows that everyone in the country knows that what will you do if something you don't want prevails that's a hypothetical i i will focus on what the people want and what the people want is for us to leave at the end of next week, not go into some other thing which is remain by another name. That will be something that the people of this country just won't forgive. And I don't think that that's a position that the Conservative Party should even think about it, putting itself in. Well, it is, isn't it? If David Liddington's having sincere meetings with MPs along those lines now, that's exactly what the Conservative Party's doing. Well, I think David Liddington is somebody who has never believed in the referendum result and I am astonished that he's still in position because he shouldn't be. What will you do? Well, what uh, we, we will continue to vote down things that are unacceptable for the country. I won't vote to put our country's head in a noose. That is what the withdrawal agreement would be. It's exactly the same with the uh, single market and the customs union. Those are not leaving the EU. That way lies electoral oblivion and Marxism. And any conservative government that's involved in that has got rocks in its head.